Hello, everyone. We have another live streaming today. I am going to try and open this as officially as possible. Hello, everyone. My name is Mabel, and I'm popularly known on my channel as Auntie Mabel. So we do this live streaming every Saturday. So everyone, you are welcome. And if you are coming across my channel for the first time, you are also welcome. And if you are watching this as a playback, so thank you for uh, stopping by. And um, I hope you will leave me uh, a comment. And um, those of us who are able to join the chat today, I'm looking forward to all of you joining in the chat. And hello, Uju, if you can hear me, and if the lighting is okay, the voice, the sound is okay, please just let me know, please. Yeah, thank you for always coming to support me. I do appreciate, I appreciate that a lot. So Uju, if you are there, please just let me know that the sound, the voice or whatever, and the, fo and the picture is okay. I know sometimes people join when they are still quite busy. I'm just looking down on my, on my phone to try and bring up the description, the things we are going to be talking about today. Oh, hi, Sonia. You are, you are early today. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. I know you are usually busy on Saturdays. Um, please. Those of you that are here, if you can let me know if the sound and the picture or the color or the lighting is okay, just let me know, please. Yes, all is good. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> thanks, Pat. Thank, thanks, all of you, for coming. Luana, thank you very much. All of you are showing up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I do appreciate all of you coming to support me every Saturday. As you all can see in the thumbnail and the title, this is a very sensitive and a very important topic. I've, I got this email a couple of weeks ago, but I've kind of been <laughs> jeering up myself. I kind of, you know, psyching up myself and trying to do some research and trying to be mentally ready. But the young man that sent me this email has still been sending me reminders and say, oh, Auntie May, but when are you going to discuss this topic? It's really very important. It's really, it's, he's really, really feeling bad about it. And he knows that there, there are some other friends he is already aware of from their church and community that are also going through the same problem. So he really, really want us to try and discuss it as much as quickly as possible. And he also said, thanks to all of you, that he's always very, sorry, I'm just trying to gather myself. I should be doing this all the time. I should be doing it ready before I come back. Sometimes you know how these things are, guys. <laughs> give the host a thumbs up. All right, thank you very much, Juju, for reminding everyone. Please give the host a thumbs up. Yeah, and those of you who are here too, they have said I should be talking about the super chat very earlier on, as as Jane and uh, Omoye told me last time that they never knew there was anything like super chat until I mentioned it. As you all know, we are learning on this YouTube street as we go along. Sorry, guys, bear with me. I'm just trying to bring up i did a lot of research i'm trying to make sure i did i just i didn't want to take too much notes so i did screenshot of of my research and um, i'm trying to bring it up on my laptop because sometimes it's easier to look at them on laptop than 
Okay, I'm just going to use use my phone instead. So right. Is the hair tie for <laughs> Fat, you say is the hair tie for you? <laughs> Thank you very much for the compliment. You guys know how to make a grandma move of blush, don't you? Thank you very much. You see why I like coming up to this uh, uh, live streaming every week? It's a, it's a very it's very therapeutic. Like I keep telling all of you, it's almost like the, the, the women's club that my mom and co used to go in the olden days. So this is a different kind of uh, women's club for me. <laughs> Although I know there are some men in it, but sometimes it's you the women that tend to engage more, isn't it? Um, so I'm just going to try and go straight into this discussion. I know other people will join us. I didn't really want to be late today. Um, so like what this young man said, I'm just going to read from his email he sent to me. It was a very long email. He gave some more details. So I, I didn't really want to bore people by putting all things in the in the description. I just feel to be too busy. Everyone is too busy to read things at the moment. The 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 gist of the whole thing is this young person, this young man, he's actually in his teenage years. I think he's he's just in his first year of uni. And there are four of them in the family. He's got a brother and two sisters. So and they live in the UK. So this is not even in Nigeria. And is the youngest of the siblings who is now, I think he said he's 10. So yeah, yeah, he said he's, she's 10. He said, he said, yeah, so there are two brothers first, two of them, the two eldest children in the family are, are boys. Then they have two girls. So is the youngest of the girls who is the last born of the family who is now 10 years old that has autism i'm not sure what is called in the us uh, would you if you are still in a position to type i know you are in the health profession let me know whether you people use autism i know it's a, i thought it's a general or, or it's a not it's a well-known term so that we use all over the world so is the youngest of the sisters who the youngest in the family who is age 10 that has autism and the the parents have been aware of this from a very young age because from the from about the age of one they all started noticing that something wasn't quite right but obviously as many people do are you guys sitting there if you are still there, are you just listening to the gist are you listening to the description first yes if you are still there, let me know. And if you are listening to the description, let me know. See, this is why I don't like this live streaming. When you talk in, anyway, the video is like video, at least the video is understandable. You're just talking to the to the recording. I know later on you're going to throw it out to the audience. But this live streaming, when you are talking, and I know a lot of people are watching when they are busy. <laughs> but said and available for life. I hope I've welcomed all of you. We are here. Okay, you are listening there. Eh? So let me tell you, when I finish telling you the story, then we go into the discussion proper. So that's when you will engage. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. So like I was saying, so from about the age of one, obviously he's the eldest of the family. So if he is about 20 now and his sister is 10, so obviously he was very sensible when his little sister was born. So this sister is about 10 so he which means he was about 10 years old when the younger sister was born so it said from the age of about one they kind of noticed that her developmental uh scale or measurement or whatever her development wasn't on point there, there was something definitely not right obviously the, the parents have practiced with three children already so they kind of know what they were expecting so sorry guys <laughs> sorry sorry oh my goodness Mabel. behave yourself where's my water hmm yeah my boy water is here somewhere i kind of changed my setting today so <laughs> so i'm a little bit out of my comfort zone my usual setting yeah i bought this beautiful plant 
and it doesn't fit into my usual setting, my usual space. So I decided to try and move my, my setting to where the plant is. I just wanted to show off the plant. I quite like the basket. It reminds me of home. So, so that's why that's why I'm changing my setting today. So my, my, my things are quite not the right place where they are usually at my desk. So anyway, that's just a little bit of, we are listening to the description. Thank you. Thank you for the side. Uh, thank you for moving away from the discussion. They, obviously, I have to make this chit chat now. I can't just be like a teacher in class. I'm not a trained teacher. So you guys have to bear with me. I need to try and put some, so make sure, especially those of you, some people are saying they don't want to do live chat so that you know that the live stream is not, you don't have to be perfect. And maybe it's just doing it as she go, goes along, yeah? Anyway, so this is what it is. So by the age of one, the parents already noticed that something wasn't quite right with their sister. And as they say here they, in the UK, obviously, I live in the UK, so I kind of understand the system. So they will usually say, oh, just give it try the some time. Let's watch and see. It might just be children develop at different stages. It might, she's, she look okay. So they can't really do any assessment really now until she, the child starts speaking and... So gradually, by the age of three, four, it was kind of known that this, this sister has autism. And the health professionals and the education, because obviously in the UK, from about the age of two, some children, you can put them in. Okay, some people use nursery school as childcare as a nursery. Why some people use independent, uh, private child minders. But from about the age of three, and you have four, you are expected to start. Oh my goodness, thank you very much, Sonia. Thank you for the super chat. The baby's got super chat. I have to give you this super chat dance now. I can't leave it out. Super chat dance, super chat dance, super chat dance. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, so. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I've got my boiled water. Let me try and clear this throat. Right. So thank you very much, Sonia. I do appreciate that a lot. Yeah. So as I was saying, so uh, from about the age when this young, when the sister started nursery school, this the education professional started. Hi, hi, Ebo, Ebo Naja Mama, you are welcome. I will try and greet all of you properly in a, in a minute. Let me try and do the description, the, the continue with the story. Ebo Naja Mama, if you network, we allow you haven't missed so much. I will kind of summarize later on when I go along. Yeah. So anyway, from the age of about three, four, or for let's just say from the age of about four, when the sister actually started statutory nursery they realized that something was really wrong. So they started uh, telling the, they told the parents something was wrong. So but obviously, as we, it's not generous. Majority of Africans do, especially when they are Christians. They would just say, oh, uh, they started binding and cursing. And, okay, not binding, you know, not cursing. They started binding and deliverance and taking her from one prayer house to another and saying, oh, they reject it in Jesus' name. So they didn't really engage in the asset, in the, in the thing. There were things the nursery were telling them they should. If I'm too loud, you guys should let me know because I'm really, where I'm sitting today, I'm very close to the laptop. So I just hope I'm not screaming. If I'm screaming at you, please let me know. I'd rather be audible, loud enough than being very quiet. Anyway, everybody knows this, that I have a loud voice. <laughs> so... <coughs> <clears throat> so anyway as i was saying oh thank you uh well, you are welcome ej to so as i was saying so when the the nursery and the general head professional in this in the uk they have what they call the head visiting team from when you leave my, my host, hospital and come home you have a, a head visitor who visits you at home until a certain age, when the child started the nursery, they have a school nurse. So both the school nurse, both generally the health professionals and the education professional started telling the parents that this child has autism. So, but they didn't really want to accept it. Instead of listening and accepting the processes and the support system that was in place that they would have used in the, in the education 
to start teaching, to start learning how to teach this child in this to speak and to manage her. She, the whole, her one was very acute as as she grow get older. It became very. It was obvious that it was very acute. It even uh, affected her her coordination and also her general emotional behavior. So she was throwing a lot of tantrums and very disruptive, even in church, even when they go out shopping to the point that the parents stop taking her to uh, public places. So yeah, that is generally the gist. So, but they didn't accept it. Now that the sister is 10, he actually observed that the sister is very good. She's very talented in, in singing. And also, because when they are doing their money devotion, although she's not very, her speech is not very good, but she can sing, which is able to sing better than she can speak. And the the primary school that she goes to, she's able, they have been saying that she's also very good in sport. So that although her coordination is bad, that if the if during sport activity the parents will agree for her to be allowed to do some certain sport like basketball or any other thing she wants to engage in on in on which year she will be able to participate better in the sport during in the school than when she's meant to because sometimes when she's her coordination sometimes she falls easily and sometimes she has to even use uh, crutches sometimes so but her parents discourage any of those things but the school are insisting sometimes when she's in school they try to to manage the do the things that she has to do obviously there are some certain they try to use the physical aid those of you know in the health profession they use as much physical aid that can aid her to participate actively in the school processes educate move around in school play time and engage very well but the, obviously there are things like wheelchair and other equipment that whatever they're implementing in school ideally she's supposed to follow it up at home and there are some certain things like which obviously they see the parental consent which they have to complete they have to complete some certain application form that will make them say okay this child there are some certain stages in life like when traveling to school she should be able to use the wheelchair not always bringing her in the car and when they are going out on school trips she should be able to allow to use wheelchair so she can engage during sport time during uh, sport activities so she can also engage PE time they call it PE here this is physical education so they just call it PE for short so this is where we are now. The parents are not having it. The parents are not engaging with the processes to make this, this, this her sister get all those things. And he is very distressed about it and he's very upset. So that was why he actually used the example of a day that gentleman, if those of you saw the thumbnail, I guess you saw the thumbnail. <laughs> those are the Ade uh, gentleman who is a woman in Nigeria, born in Nigeria, but grew up in the UK. So he's actually a very, he's actually a, he's a paramed, Paralympic medal, medal, medalist and he's a presenter and he's living a full, a very full life. So he has, he used that as an example in the email he wrote to me and said, look at that gentleman, that, that could be my sister in the future. But her parents are not engaging in the process to make her be able to achieve her full potential. So now let me that's, let me pack the story. I hope you guys got the story. I know some of you joined a little bit later at the middle of when I was telling the story. Those of you who were here from the beginning, just let me know what, we, what you think this young man, he said he would be watching and he will not engage in the chat as he always. I always find that when it comes to sensitive top, topic, we Africans don't like don't like engaging in the in the chat i mean publicly people don't really like to put their things in there's very few of us that are on youtube now that can easily give life example even or even comment i find youtubers tend to give their perspective with examples of their lives rather than the rest of the populace i don't know why this is why we really need to use this our platform to promote this secrecy in our community i'm not saying there are something you don't want to share here but there are some certain things that we don't have to be secret about that when we share is going to be able to help our community in general to be better equipped to use the services around us and to support our children and even ourselves no matter what our ages are or even out our mature years so yes please let me 
Let me try and welcome all of you. I know there are a few people who have joined who I'm having welcome very well properly. So Ebo Niger Mama, thank you for coming. You are a YouTuber. Jane, Jane's Diary, thank you for coming. You are a YouTuber. EJ, I always want to translate that properly because I know something I call you IJ. Yeah, so it's EJ to you. You're welcome. I think I heard when when uh, when Uju said it on her live stream. That's how I knew how to pronounce it. We still see these names on, on paper. Sometimes we don't hear it properly. Then um, Nelly White Lion, our pregnant mommy, you are welcome to the to the live streaming. Uh, Sonia Duruji, you are welcome. Everybody I'm mentioning so far are all, uh, are all YouTubers. Ifechi family, my newfound UK sister, you are welcome. Thank you for, for, for thank you for gracing my live streaming today. And uh, Jane Aloja, that's my younger sister, of course, she's not a YouTuber yet. I know she's not interested in being a YouTuber. <laughs> you can never say never. <laughs> maybe when I become very successful, like some of those big YouTubers, maybe she will, she will be more interested then. <laughs> Sonia Duruji is a YouTuber. I don't know if I mentioned you before already. And Pat Eyegba, Eyeba, I hope I'm saying it right. Yeah, you, it's a YouTuber. Luana which is showing us Luaski, Luaski there. Thank you very much, Luan. I can see you supporting all my friends when they, those have come here. I saw you on Shade's uh, channel. We had Shade as our guest, the author of uh, African books. We had a few, few weeks ago on our channel. So I saw you on her channel supporting her. Thank you very much, Luana, for supporting all my Nigerian African people. Uh, Uju, thank you once again for coming. Uh, who else have I, I hope I haven't left anyone out. Yeah, I think that's everybody so far. Yeah, thank you very much, all of you. So please, if I do, and thank you once again, um, Sonia, for the super chat. And those of you who have just joined, if you don't know how to give, oh, Shade, you're here, and I just mentioned you. <laughs> Shade Fadik, man, thank you very much. You see, even when you're not here, I talk about you. <laughs> I didn't see you before I started talking about you. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Yeah. Thank you all very much for coming. So, yeah, Shade, I know you're an experienced teacher in the UK. I'm not sure you listened, you heard the gist when I was talking about what happened. So, this is where we are now. So, the point I really want to raise, first of all, why you guys, please start bringing in your, your thoughts. And, um, okay, my big sister. Uh, Ifechi family, she said, this is an interesting topic. Thanks for bringing it up. Thank you very much. And Ebo Najama, let me try and just say, I only just acknowledge you guys. Yeah, um, Ebo Najama, yes, autistic persons are very talented and smart, yes. She said again, how old is the brother? The brother is 20. I think he's in uni. While he has two other siblings between him, he has a brother next to him. He has another, there are four in the family, Two, the two boys are older and the two girls are younger. There is the youngest sister who is 10 that is autistic. So, yeah. Hi, sis. I'm here. I'm listening. Thank you very much for listening. That's Shade saying that. Luana said, oh, Shade said Luana is lovely. Thanks, Luana. Uh, yeah, we, we appreciate you always. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, so we're, we're, what I really want to bring out today is how we, in our African community, can start supporting each other, whether we're in the diaspora or whether we're in Nigeria, to start making sure we use whatever resources is available, wherever, what part we are in abroad, and even those in Nigeria. Ideally, those of us in abroad, if we notice any member of our family or friends or any our circle of influence or acquaintances in Nigeria that the children have some sort of disability, some form of disability, we that know have some awareness here. Sorry, guys, my phone was on again. I thought I was, I hope I wasn't shouting. <laughs> so anyway, we should really start, we should really start using uh, our, our awareness to try and as, enlighten them and even find a way to see, I know there are not so much resources available in Nigeria. And so, but for the younger children, I think things are improving. I must say, I was very impressed. I don't know if any of you follow the Paralympic that finished recently in Tokyo. That was supposed to be 2020 Paralympic, which 
the, the couldn't do last year. I think they see move it. They move it to this year. They are still calling 2020 parallel, which can be a bit confusing when you go online to do this research. Nigeria team, Nigeria team, Paralympic team actually won four medals, and I think there were gold among them. Yeah. So things are improving. And the, the, if you, if you, some of them, when they were speaking, I didn't really watch it properly. I'm not really one of those who sit down to watch those things because my life is very busy with my work. And I tend to use the time in between to catch up on YouTube <laughs> and church and personal life. So TV is one thing I don't tend to sit down and watch so much of. But I was always listening, obviously, you know, even when you're not listening in detail, once you hear that they said, oh, Nigeria is winning a medal, you know, Africa, or whatever, or even Britain, when you, they, they always do the highlight of the medals on the news. So you do hear. So the, one of the person was actually speaking that their coach, was very very supportive in camp and even when they got to tokyo although she's one of them was saying he, he or she struggled a bit i can't remember because it's a yoruba name i'm not whether it's a he or she again that he she struggled and wasn't feeling too well but he was still motivated and encouraged and she was able to i think it's a she i just call her she so she was able to see win the gold medal so she was really very proud of the support she has received it's just like football in our time they will say, oh, if you just go and face your book, don't play football. But now that football become a big thing, people, professional football are not the millionaires. Everybody's now pushing their children to play football, but they forget that before you become uh, one of those ones that make it to the to the public, to the even recognized team or national team, you have to work very hard. So anyway, yeah, thank you very much, Divine Okonkwa, for joining us. Divine Okonkwa is also a YouTuber. So yeah, this is where we are, guys. So please tell me your experience. I might, I know that you might not necessarily have. Um, you, uh, uh, Luan, I've just seen your notes. I will read it in a minute. Your church, your comment. I know you might not necessarily have uh, someone with disability in your in your in your family. I know we have a born Niger mama here. We all know she's a, an adult living with disability. Because of this question that this young man asked me. I'm going to try and focus on the children with disability today because if if I start spreading it to adults, we might not have been able to do this long this topic justice. We might not be able to do it justice properly. But if we do the children's one today, we might decide to go over. We might decide to do the adult one next next time or another time. So, but I know some questions will always come out of these children's work. That's what people always do. It's a shame that many of them don't. Some of them don't like writing, the, like I said, they, like, they don't like writing in the comment section. They tend to sign it directly to me. So anyway, um, so what I'm trying to say, some of us might not have in our immediate family, we might not have a disability or apart from Ebo Niger Mama, which I've actually dis do a disclaimer there, but we might know somebody, a friend or family member that have a child with disability in the family. It could be physical. It doesn't necessarily have to be autism. It could be some form of physical disability. It could so be some form of learning disability. It could be some form of uh, emotional disability. It could be even some form of mental disability. I know people call it mental health illness, but even in children, I know some people will say, oh, with children, there's, no, there's still some level of mental health illness, which if identified early, the children are more, if they are supported, they are more likely to be able to engage actively in the education system or whatever their talent is so this is where we are even if you don't have a direct person yeah you don't you must know somebody even if you don't know somebody that you must have somebody in your school in your children's school especially those of us who have raised adult children or children of teenage years you might know somebody in a school in your children's school or in your church or whatever community group you belong to that has some form of disability how are we managing it as a community? What's, are we really supporting those parents enough? Or are we making them more comfortable in our churches? Or are we making them more comfortable when they come to parties? You know, we Nigerians, Africans, and we Nigerians in particular know how to throw parties. Yeah? Or uh, if they are in our family members, are we one of those who will encourage the family, who will give the So family actually need happy hands. They need not just emotion not just talk talk support they actually need us to come alongside them and sometimes offer to actually babysit or take that child with our children sometimes so yeah i'll just leave it there for now and let you guys think about what i've said and give me some of example of experiences you have had 
among your friends and family or circle of influence and how they are managing it and how you think you see that your their family wider network circle net, like aunties uncle cousins around them are supporting them or they are just one of those say hide this child away don't let anybody see the child uh this one is uh Oswo. don't know in this sound they call some people you know i'll come to that later so let me quickly let me quickly re, uh, read the comment that are coming in a born and mama said Luana also supports me too. Yeah, she's very supportive. Then Luana said, autism is very common. A lot of people are on the spectrum and you wouldn't even know. The more you know about it, the more you can expand your idea of norm and include them. Yeah, thank you very much, Luana. That's a good point. But this, 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 the, I know, yeah, like you said, some are, some are on very on the, um, a different spectrum there's some are very some of some you will not know there are some they will call this as asperger in the uk they have one where they are very quirky in nature they are not really full-blown autism or it's a, a part of it's a spectrum of autism so um so i'm not a specialist in autism but i know i've had idea of working i work with children so i know idea of working with uh, children with autism i've had experience i've had experience of working with them so anyway uh, Ebon and Jamama said, I thought it's only people in Nigeria that hide their disabled children. Not at all. Um, in the UK, they might not hide them per se, but many of our, okay, not many, there are some people, awareness is better, it's getting better to be honest, but there are some who still don't, who still want to pray it away, who believe their faith will play, pray it away. And if they don't, acknowledge you know the one nigerian when they are sick when somebody see they say oh i'm well i'm strong so they so, so there are some who come up with that mentality who will not acknowledge even when the professional is telling you your child has autism they will say i reject it even in front of professional they will say i reject it in jesus name i will not engage they feel by not acknowledging or not engaging it means that's when they have faith that's when it will come that's when it will not it will, they feel it will go away they are praying it away they don't want to engage and they've been doing it for 10 years and this child is missing out right so okay let me quickly read the next uh, uh, thing i've answered ebon and jam i hope that kind of give you the picture majority people are engaging and not hiding their way but some are in their ways yeah anyway i will discuss that a little before that later on um luana said actually my brother-in-law is a person with special need okay that's true yeah, that's true. There are different types. Like I said, it's not, I'm just using this example as autism, but there are other forms of disability, which we Africans and Nigeria, we are more of them on this platform, which we are not engaging, we are not giving them enough support. So yeah, uh, Divine said, I know of 11 year old boy who is disabled and I can remember how his mom will lock him up in a room. And I'm sure it's people's attitude towards the child that will warrant that so sad that the boy died last year it's true you see yeah that's that's common um he died last month oh no what a shame don't make his so rest in peace ej tube said and i think africans abuse the god factor that even when their kids show signs they refuse to accept and get help. that's true that is the, the case of this young man and that is why he actually wants me to discuss it he has been stressing he said oh that uh, because because he's now in the uni and obviously he has close friends in union himself is a christian so it's something that really bothers him and he has started discussing with obviously once you have issues like that as so one or two person you become close to and he has seen that is there are it's a narrative some of his friends of his age group who are from african community they also have have some experience of this I think I need to manage this my my voice. Uh, uh, Uju, you're very quiet today. You need to you need to tell me the. I think I need to be doing some lemon juice. Yeah, I think I'll be doing some lemon and ginger now to help my throat to my vocal vocal cord to stand this discussion. Yeah, all right. Yeah, uh, uh, you have read that. Uh, Ebo Niger Mama said a lot of Nigerians have children living with disability, but they are ashamed to bring them out because of the way 
people react to them when they see them. That's true. That's that's a big. It's a big factor. It's something we really we all need to start working on. Then, uh, Daivan Okoko said, "EJ, you are right. They will tell you God will heal them, and I don't know why it is like that." Then, uh, yeah, that's true. Sonia said, "Here in Germany, they are well taken care of." by the state and the law protects them very well. Thank you, that's true. Yeah, the thing I, I, I must say, uh, Sonia, you know, the the population of the Africans in Germany is not high as much as the ones in the UK. So when you have more Nigerians or Africans in general together in a place, is then when you start seeing more of this disparity that we're talking about, the, uh, the Jane's diary. I hope I've acknowledged you, Jane da Jane's diary. Yeah. Please, if any of you have not acknowledged you, please let, remind me. You know, you're always gracious enough to let me know. All I want to know, why does autism happen? <laughs> does anyone know? <coughs> um, uh, Jane's diary. That's a million dollars question. No, the research hasn't actually been able to show. Some people have said, some pe I'm not going to start, uh, I'm not going to start doing some negative, uh, there's a word they use for it, spare mongering or whatever they call that term. I'm not going to start doing that uh, here because uh, there are a lot of these people have said, which have not been proven. So but the, the, the fact is, because some people have also said, how come it's more common than it is now? There are some school of thought that felt that we are giving our children too much processed food and all of this. So th that's mostly the ADHD. There's a spectrum within the, the spectrum they call uh, attention hyperactive something disorder. So the ADHD, some people will say it's because they are giving the children too much uh, processed drinks and uh, sugary food and all the chemicals that are now in our environment and in our food, in our spray things we use around us even in the cars everywhere is more pro polluted than it used to be that the nature where we were brought up and that's why they, even the allergic reaction is higher in people so but there's a whole lot of spectrum nothing has been proven yet so i'm not a medical person i'm not going to dive into that also people have also said because there are more di diagnosis uh people the people are more there are more professional diagnoses now available on like before and like you know, even in this part of the world, in the Western world, they used to hide them away as well until, until in the last few hundred years or whatever. I don't even know if it's up to 100 years yet. NHS is only in the 1940s that they established NHS and the educational system, if you look at their history, is actually becoming more established in recent times. So the hiding away has always been there. So we can't really, we don't really know what's the cause. There's so many causes. But it's when it's been when it, that, that and the population is getting bigger as well. So, like you know, as as in everything, there are more obese people. There are diabetes is higher, um, heart 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 disease is higher, cancer is higher, everything is higher. So the emotional or psychological or whatever these things that is going wrong that is causing autism is also becoming higher. So. Jane, I hope that answers your question. So people say that's because, yeah, that's the part I'm not going down that route. I know that Jane. Jane said, yeah, some people said it's from the batch of MMR vaccine. They have, some people have said that, but I'm very mindful of the things I discuss on this channel in public. It's, it's not been proven. So, but if that's the case, other things, mental health illness is getting, is getting higher as well. And emotional health is, uh, illness is getting higher. I think it's just because the lifestyle we now lead is more stressful than before. Our forefathers, our older parents used to be stressed in a different way. They just go to their farm, come home and cook their organic food and eat and go to market and have a simple life. Except those of you who grew up in hope where you have educated parents, but those of you, the younger generation. So but the life generally is becoming more, more stressful. Look at um, what's her name? Uh, uh, the rest of, even if you live in Nigeria, there is so much that is going on in our life these days that you can't really, you can't, you can't, so the causes is, can be very varied, okay? So, and you know, there's some school of thought that also believe some of this disability are hereditary as well, yeah? 
especially when it's mental health illness. There's that, there's that belief in Nigeria as well. And some people believe, oh, God didn't answer your prayer. You've been caused or somebody's responsible. So there's a whole lot school of thought as well. Yeah. So, right. So let me quickly go back and... Um, and 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 uh, and just read some of the comment you guys are putting there just now. Uh, Stella, why dynamic? Thank you for joining. Uh, okay, Juju, you, you said you were here. Okay, when I thought, yeah, I know sometimes I don't expect you to type all the time, even when I'm on your live stream as well. Sometimes I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy reading other people's comments. They, and before I do it, I have to type for a while. Yeah, and. Uh, Luana said, hey, uh, no, Divine Uko can say, Uju. And Uju said, the bottom line is, is creating awareness and making people realize that it is not a disability, but different ability. Thank you very much. You are right. That's a very good way of putting it. It's actually different ability, not just uh, not disability. So like that is actually why this young man, like I said, those of you who were not here at the beginning, that's actually why that young man referred to a day, uh, that a day disabled uh, a man, who is, I think he's in his 40s. He was born in Nigeria, in Lagos, but he grew up in the UK. And he's a very well known person. He won, he's part, he was part, he's, he's part, he was part, I think he's retired, obviously, in his 40s. So he was part of the UK uh, Paralymp uh, Paralympic basketball team. And they won a lot of medals. And he has actually got, he's actually got MB, he's got an honorary title by the, from the Queen, which is a big thing in the UK. It's more, it's somewhat like our big chief thing in Nigeria. Not the one they buy with money now. Here you have to earn it for the queen to give you an honor. So it's really, really, really a big thing. So yeah, Ebo Naja Mama said, I have to go. Sorry, Ebo Naja Mama, I understand. Okay. Yeah, um, thank you for coming. That's really good for you to, to show up. Yeah. Then uh, Luana said, it's, um, it's mostly about awareness and the general attitude, whether you treat people with disability as people with feelings, with thoughts and hopes too. It's, it's true. I agree with you totally. We really have to treat them with care. And some of us actually have to be careful. Like me, when I reflect back, I think it's ignorance. There are some certain times I think I might have not in the past, I might not have been as sensitive as I could have been. And remember those days when we were growing up as children, you know, especially some people that that are not emotionally stable. People will just say, oh, Zwo. I don't know what people call it in your tribe. If you know what it is, they'll just say, oh, that person is like a uh, Nzuzu. Is it Bobby Igbo language that's Nzuzu? So please correct. Let me know. You know, those people, you think they are stupid, they are foolish, they are the clans of the community. And with proper engaging, engagement with them, looking at their areas of talent and just teaching them to do some simple tasks. They might not be able to read ABC or whatever, do the normal things that people do, but they still have their own ability. Yeah. Would you say is the cost? Okay. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. The, the cause of uh, autism. The cause is unknown. So in fact, it is from the batch of MMR vaccine. Would you also said that like what Jane said? Yeah, it's true. I really, it's a narrative that is, um, it's, it's, it's not proven, so I try not to, yeah, because some people even in the UK stop giving it to their children because of that fear, so yeah. Uh, Luana said, I heard it too, Jane. Yeah, it's true. We have all heard it's been there. There are some school of thought of medical professionals who are really, uh, really uh, uh, pushing that narrative, and even it is known in the UK that they even said to the point, some people, I've read some articles where they have even said some of the upper class and middle class people who are can afford to pay for the vaccine, they give different, they split up the one they give to their children. So but I don't really want to raise uh, things that I cannot really substantiate because that's not my, I don't have enough uh, medical know-how to do that. So yes, um, Sonia said, yes, I know in Nigeria, they will hide the child because of what people will say. And I think the government needs to look into this true. And one thing I will say about that, Jane, our government, you know, <laughs> if we went on there to do things, nothing we ever get done. Even the really generated that staring them in the faces or staring them in their face. Or is it government? Is it one face they have? Local government, the state government. Look at simple road, school. They don't even have school for the able bodied children, not to talk of the disabled. Electricity, there are simple things that they, we're using our money to do. According to them, I say, even I think they've said the senator have a certain amount of money, pocket of money they pay, now, which are supposed to need to develop their constituency or whatever they call it, their senatorial district. 
Nothing is being done. Even the state, the state can do, the state government make have enough to do their own state. They are not doing, everybody's blaming. I'm not saying, I don't want to do it, go into politics. I'm not saying Buhari is doing his best, but the, the, all of us have to be accountable from, from the child in that country to the highest. We all have some accountability. Because I just feel this, this um, getting money for nothing, it has not filtered down to even to the grassroots. Everybody's not naming and claiming it. Anybody that get rich quick, nobody has where they get their money for. God has blessed them. Or merited favor is what everybody's not looking for. So anyway, let's not go into that religious and political issues. So yeah, it's there, but they should be doing it, but the government aren't doing it, but this is why we have to do our little best. Just do the little best. You can anybody, family member, or friends, or circle of influence you know that have a child with disability, Let's always try and do our little uh, our best. Like some people have done for Ebo Edo Najama. It's a shame she's left now. Obviously, she always have to save her data and her, uh, her whatever network and disturb her. Something. Okay. Somebody that which some of you have watched her video. She was I did a collaboration with her. That which somebody who donated it when she joined YouTube. That's when somebody saw her. She used to move around in her house for twenty four years. She never left her house. That's an even an adult. So she used to move around on her bottom. Somebody, when she now joined YouTube, somebody now saw her, I think on a Coco Mama's channel. Then that's when somebody donated that wheelchair to her. Not She didn't even get that wheelchair from somebody who was always in Nigeria. People around her have seen her do the suffering like that for many years. Nobody thought of putting money together to buy her wheelchair. So this is where we have to come in and start using this, our platform, to promote this, to promote the awareness. Yeah? I hope that makes sense. Oh, wow, the, the, the thing is getting running away with me now. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, sorry. Please, let me just quickly whiz through all the, all the other comment now. Um, please, if I miss your comment, please remind me. I don't want to miss out anybody because I know what it takes to type comment. Even if it's just a sentence, it takes time to type it. Yeah, yes, uh, uh, EJTube said... Um, Okay, uh, would you first of all say the cost is unknown? Yes, it is unknown. So um, if we, if um, I will do a little bit, maybe we'll do an, another thing about trying to use our diet to try and see how far we can help this situation. So do our own research. Um, how many the children are already here is what we can we do through diet, through engagement in activities to make their life better and to make the life of the parents better. It's not actually easy as well. We have to acknowledge that it's not easy. Yeah, okay, then um, EJ said, yes, yeah, the cost is unknown and hereditary. Some people actually said it's, there's element of hereditary in it. Uh, everything white, welcome. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Uh, you, you, you're greeting your sister, <laughs> Sela White. <laughs> Would you say training specialist, special needs teacher will help a lot? It's true. Yeah, that's possible. That's helpful. Some of the private schools, should really be doing it, but as you know, they just most many of them are just academic focus and just charging parents big big money. So, but the state the state school can't even train trade uh, can't even train proper teachers or even do proper school. Like I said earlier, Luana said there is a brilliant YouTube channel called SBS Kids Special Book for by Special Kids. It gives a voice to all kinds of persons with different diagnoses. A real eye opener for everyone interested. Thank you very much for that. I think I will try when, please, I just want to let you guys know what I've observed. When we do live uh, stream yard, the chat, the, the live chat doesn't come on till about, usually when I do the denied until I go to bed at 12 midnight when I have tried, it has never come up. But the next morning when I wake up, the chat will be back to life. So if you really want to come back and check the chat, you have to wait till for maybe just give it, I don't know how long, but I would just say give you 24, uh, 12 hours or so, then you come come back so you can access the chat. Just in case you cannot take the detail down that like what uh, Luana just mentioned to us. So like tomorrow I will go back and check so that if I can't do it tonight, if I'm, too, if I'm busy doing all that, I'm too tired to do it. Right, yeah, divine says Sony and government care. <laughs> they forget, they forget, just forget is they won't, they won't choose people. They won't, they won't, they won't. Those people are selfish. We agree, we know. Thank you. You are right. You are right, divine. Yeah. Um uh, Shade said, when we have families with such challenges, how we respond to them is crucial. Yes, yes, yes. When my children were young. I intentionally took them to the school 
for the challenge. That's a very good idea. That's very good. And also, when you have children in their school that might have some disability, no matter how mild it is, try and include them, especially when you are doing your children's birthday party, especially when they are older, because when my children were older, I don't really do that much, too much birthday parties because just feel it's too much stress. So but you tend to have, maybe you have um, uh, a couple of friends around for a meal. That's what I used to tell them when my children were older, I would just say, okay, what restaurant do you want to go? Not upper class, so just say cheap restaurant I can afford. And I say, pick a, three or four of your best friends to come of us as a family for a meal. So if you know that, your and, and also be sensitive. If your children, if they, your, you're sensitive enough, your children will be sensitive enough to be closer. If they know a child that is that is not included in the school, they are more likely to try and make friends with those people. I know it's hard, but if we notice them, if we're involved in our children's school, we notice those children, try and always include them and their parents. Yeah, because it can be very hard on the parents as well. Right. Um, I've read that one. I've read. I've read uh, Shade's one. Yeah, Shade said again. School like school like FCT school. When Shade said FCT, that's the federal capital, federal city capital, isn't it? That's the federal capital territory. That's the Abuja. I have FCT school for the blind and FCT school for the, FCT school for the deaf in Abuja, and we we could spend we will spend children's day with them for a number of years. So that's good. That's a very good point here. Yeah. So yeah, and the Shadi also said, you see, that's why I like to have teachers in the house. The Shadi also said, our able children needs to experience all forms of life. It's true, yes, yeah. And then Luana said, I agree, Shadi. Then uh, uh, Divine Okonkwo said, please, thumbs up, oh, you guys. Yeah, so guys, please, thumbs up. And, and I'm still waiting for more super chats. I know those of you in Nigeria might not be able to give me super chat. Anybody that still want to give me super chat, but beside the chat, there's a dollar or a pound sign. If you click on that, Sonia gave me a super chat earlier when I did my super chat dance. So any, any of you that still want to give me super chat, because we are getting to the 52 minutes mark now. So yeah, please, if there's any part of this discussion you feel I've left out, I know thank you very much once again for engaging a lot. But now we need to answer this young man's um this young man's question. I know we cannot necessarily get to the mother. I know some of the things we have been saying, obviously, or the parents, I won't solicit the mother. And she also, he also said, this is part of the discussion. <clears throat> okay, excuse me, let me quickly just read all of them. Shade said, yes, Luana, we need books to help our kids experience all forms of life. Then Stella said, I agree. Yeah, that's true. So I know we cannot, I'm, I'm sure some of this answer we have given kind of give him a different a, a picture generally, but let's try and speak to the parents now. I know I know some of the things that we have been saying, I have addressed it, but let's really try and speak directly to the parents of this young man, because eventually since we are mostly, okay, I'm a Nigerian matured lady a mother and a grandmother and i live in the uk so he can she can identify with that and i've kind of said some of the things that have i said enough maybe i will have to try and address her that, that address him uh, the parents and the aunties and the uncle directly part of it is as well they are saying that they're kind of almost feeling that a relative back home i have been cursed by family member back home instead of them focusing on the needs of the child they kind of more focusing on the spiritual side of things that might have been caused by somebody. So they are trying to find a way to break that course or something. So, and these parents are supposed to be relatively educated. So they are not like people who didn't go to school at all. So please, if you are still there, give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. Yeah. And um, yeah, there's quite a lot of you here. Yeah, thank you very much, um, Sonia. Sonia said, "Are divine. I know, right? But it is a shame and the way people treat them too. It's true. So yeah. So like, let's trans, let's trans advise the parents now so that I'm sure at some point, what is, the, what is his question? Yeah, thank you. The question is, he's frustrated that his parents are not engaging with the support system. Like the, the sister, she feel, he feels the sister is, would be talented in music if she's supported enough. 
And she, thank you very much, Uju, for actually saying that sometimes I waffle on too much. I don't go direct to the point. Yeah. So yeah. And um, and secondly, the, the the sister could be very good in sport activities, and especially if she's very good in basketball and other kind of sport activities, which the school have said if she's allowed to play it on wheelchair because she's very on, she's one of those autistic on the spectrum where it actually affects her balancing. So, but when she's playing sport, when they go out to the park or go places, she said from a very young age, whenever he takes her out and they are playing games, even in the garden, you can see her face lights up. But the parents, because they are so buried in this spiritual attack and praying that is by prayer that we solve it and refusing to acknowledge it, so they are not engaging in this thing. So even, even has, himself, he's a, he plays musical instrument. He tried to involve the sister. And the parents are not even encouraging it. Like, okay, now he's in uni. Nobody's doing it anymore. So the sister was engaging with him when he, was, he used to be at home helping him to teach, teach, uh, teach, him, teach her to play musical instrument. And she can sing as well. She actually, she sings better than she can read and speak. So he is feeling that the child, the sister can actually, actually if she's supported and if she's taken to special uh, places or teach a teacher of music to special need person, especially need children, she will be able to achieve more and be able to do better. So let's try and advise this parent so that I'm sure probably this young man might be, might be somehow because with my face being in Nigeria, I might get the mother, the father, the mother, the aunties. It's not just the parents. They said the aunties are all in the game. The aunties and uncles, all the wider family network in the in this part of in the UK, they are kind of encouraged, they agree with the parents. So nobody is actually there to tell the parents off, and that the church community they don't really they, they where they can help it. They don't take the sister to church. So sometimes they get one of the children, the older children, to babysit their sister when they go to church because they don't really like showing her off too much in the church. But it's not really, so they haven't really given the, so she cannot, he cannot really tell whether maybe the parents have had a bad experience or somebody saying not, not responding, responding, okay, someone responding negatively to the sister in the church when she was much younger. He doesn't know the reason behind why the parents, doesn't, like when they're going to parties, one of the parents would rather stay at home with the sister or get one of the siblings. Okay, now that they are older, the parents can go to a party and leave. This. They never take her anywhere to any social gathering. I don't know if I'm making sense. Uju, is the question clear enough? You know, you are my. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. You know, you are one of my moderators on this, on this uh, live streaming. Right, some people have been saying something. So let's think constructively. We are getting to the one hour mark. I don't really want this. I don't want to go too past the one hour today. I think we have been interacting very well. Okay, what is the question, Auntie Mabel? Sorry, even Shade, you asked me the question as well. It does the question look look clear enough now? What the problem is? So they want us to speak to the parents to advise them, please so that he can get a way to get them to watch this video. So probably they might get what we are saying. If you feel the question is clear enough, the parents are fixing their ways. It is a shame, OK? Um, OK, let me first of all, Luana said, presume competence and be positive towards them. They will, they will fulfill more goals if they don't focus on their shortcomings. That's true. It's true. That's good. So, yeah, the parents, we should find a way. To, the parents should really engage this young lady, this dear child, and encourage all the fun into flame. You know, anything she's good that they should focus on it. They should even try and learn the things and do them. Like, for example, me, I can't play any musical instrument. So if it means... Take, taking her to a, t a teacher who can manage special needs training of singing, encourage playing instruments or singing, they should try and engage her with that. That's one. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Shade said social service needs to get involved. They are depriving her of her potential. It's true. Um, 
she said he said in this email because we've been going back and forth i've asked some clarification as well so he said um the social services the school have reported to the social services and when they did the assessment they don't miss threshold because the children they are meeting her needs in other ways she's always very well presented she's clean they feed that well so and they can't they've tried advising the mother and then we agree when they advise her they say okay they're here they agree but they're not really implementing it so they are just they just do the surface thing where the school said oh complete the form they will say okay they will do it and be giving excuses why they haven't done it it's really like the wheelchair then they are adamant they don't want that child to be seen in wheelchair because they feel it's like they've def they've owned they've defeat the person they feel the family members or whoever they think back home is responsible they feel once they allow this child to go on wheelchair they have accepted the defeat so even himself, he has been subtle about it. So oh, it really helped the child to be able to play basketball and whatever sport, or that is his interest. This child is good at. So they haven't listened to that at all. Okay. Parents are fixing their ways. It is a shame. Okay. For, uh, Shadi also said they probably have not been cancelled. Every child is a blessing, and we need to embrace their darling disabled child. AJ. Yeah, yeah, it's true. That's true. Oh, no, uh, we just said the man should sit his parents down and talk to them. He should open their eyes to see the ability this young lady possesses. Thank you very much for that. The parents should stop limiting her. We just also said, we just said, yes. I'm sure you were saying yes to what uh, probably, yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. When I was asked whether it's clear enough, I really need to be looking at the chat as soon as I ask a question. Yeah. You, you say, yes, the question is clear enough. Now, thank you. Yes, yes, it's clear. Yes, it is. Okay, they need to embrace the talent. Oh, Shade is saying they need to embrace the talent within her, love her, and create opportunities for her to strive. I feel for them, though, it's true. To be honest with you, we really have to acknowledge it's not easy, I swear to be honest. Raising, even raising children without disabilities is hard enough in this part of the world, especially when they become teenagers. It's, it's just, you really need, need what Yoruba people call Oja. You need to tie your job very well when they become teenagers. Both prayer and, and it's not just when they become teenagers, you start praying. You know, you have to pray from the beginning, even when they are still in your womb. <laughs> or even before you even pray, you even take, you even start having them. They will get into your womb. You have to start praying. And when they also start as a child, you have to start encouraging them, praying with them. And as, especially, let's be, what I always tell people, let's be the Bible and the book our children read. There's no point trying to pray all night and forcing them to morning devotion and night devotion when our life tells different stories. We are not perfect, but let's let's when the children are when we see that we are doing anything that's that's not right, that's affected, that we should try and and listen. Yeah, yeah, okay. For this, yeah, if you have read that. Would you said? Oh my goodness, it's seven o two. I can't. I just said that, that it's seven o two in your comment already. All right. Yeah, the the. The, the parents should find a group of parents with special needs. The group is always helpful. It is, it will enlighten them. Thank you very much. That's true. Uh, Jay said, does every autistic child must, must have a social worker? No, no, not. I'm in that line of job. No, not every autist, autistic child. Uh, autism is not enough to have a social worker, but it depends on the spectrum. If it's very, very, if it's a disability, there's a criteria. If the child meets the criteria of the disability, depends on what it is, they might have, they might be supported in the dis children with disability team. I know you understand that, Jane, because you're also in the UK. The UK sisters are growing gradually. I think we need to try and have a reunion. Now the summer is going, we didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Or Tommy said, the weather is getting darker. Those of you who see sunshine when I'm doing this, the sunshine is gone, it's already dark outside. Mm. I like summer, man. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Um, Divine said, me, I'm learning because of a truth. I don't know what to say. I understand. Thank you very much, Divine. Thanks for being here. This is why we like the, I'm actually, at, you know, you know, I've spoken to you one-to-one. -one. I actually like to be close to this generation of you, the young parents, the parents are just raising children, both, you know, Obodo Ibo and in Nigeria, 
you are the one because we we had a hard time people don't understand it so let me quickly before i start diving into that <coughs> i'm so sorry guys i don't know why this is worse today i have to be honest i haven't been feeling great for the past couple of days but you know that this uh, live streaming i will not miss it for the world so yeah um let me quickly read all of this. Shade said, Auntie Mabel, this is like a reading test from you. You have got very good eyesight. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I am one of those who is short sighted. So I read very close text is very good for me. It's the distance one. I've been short sighted from birth as long as I can remember. So those of us, that's what some of us that are short sighted that can see, that don't see far. Our close sight is, is uh, top notch. Yeah. Um, so I thank you very much for that. Uh, Sonia said, in my opinion, I think they should come out of the shame and accept the reality and don't care what people are going to say because in life, no one is perfect. It's true. We all, I always say people, we all have some form of disability, whether we accept it or not. It might just be that. <clears throat> it might just be that inner belief there's something that we are struggling with whether we like whether we put on this front of uh, always being giggling in front of the camera like when we try to this packaging we all package deep down we all have some, some form of area we we are struggling with in our lives here yeah. it's just that some people also are more obvious than others okay is it's not easy sometimes it comes with feelings of guilt as parents true you are right you are right luana if you can if they can, they should try to find some advice that help their family and work and works for them. That helps their family and that can works for that works for them. We shouldn't judge so fast. Yeah, it's true. It's true. We 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 try not to judge, are we? Yeah. Uh, Uju said that Desespe has a brother with autism. She interviewed her mom about taking care of his brother with autism. I actually watched that video as well. I did. Yeah, the, the video is very informative. I encourage the young man to watch it. It's true. I will, I will share that. I will share. I'll go to a disease person and share that. With. That's a very good idea, especially because that was raised. He was actually raised in Nigeria. And they have the added benefit of being in the UK. Um, uh, Stella White Dynamic said, they make it so easy to love them. They are so lovable. I have a half sister who is autistic sister. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes they are lovable, but sometimes they can be very challenging. It depends on the spectrum. So yeah, like we rightly said, uh, what was I saying before? I was saying something about okay, reading. All right, right. Uh, yeah, I think I was saying something about young parents. Yeah, that's why I actually like being close to <coughs> today's very bad. I think next time I will make my lemon honey. <laughs> Let me make my lemon ginger. Okay, right. Before I go, yeah, I'll read that quickly. Luana said, I heard that some people prefer to be referred to as person with autism rather than autistic person. That's true. Yeah, that's what they try to encourage in the UK. They've said you should put the person before their spectrum. So, yeah, it's the person with autism rather than autistic person. I don't know, have I been saying autistic person or person with autism? I don't know. Sometimes we are still learning in this process. Yeah, it's true. Thanks for pointing that out. So yeah, like what I was trying to say, um, that's actually why I generally like to be very close to the, the you, the younger ones with who are still raising children, because I find some of us in our generation, especially those of us who grew up in Nigeria or Africa, we are like the gap, we are the bridge between the parents who either were uneducated, who didn't, when I say uneducated, I mean formal, who didn't have formal education, or even when they did, it was not very, I tell you some of us were in our 50s, 60s, and 70s now. Majority of us didn't have parents with, who had who were, who had formal education, but some of you did. But I find we are the bridge between them. We are like, we are like, we are struggling because we, many, majority of us are struggling because you are trying to move away from that old, old, non-formal education form of tr of a parenting and you are now thrust into thrust into this obodoing book kind of parenting when the system is so different and you are trying to find your way so except you are really intentional like me when my children were small i have to be reading every search of their development when i was pregnant i was reading every book 
before they start nausea, I was reading every book to make sure I'm doing the right thing in the nausea, every stage of their life. It can be very challenging. And some parents don't really, some people, people are so inclined, there are some, some of us in our age group who we are more inclined to doing all the job in the hours that God sent. And because they wanted to build this big, big building in their village at a certain time, they have, they, there was a group of people who were more financially, who were focusing on their financial achievement and rather than, and some people were focusing on the educational achievement of their children as well, just the formal education. They didn't have broadening their, open their eyes to look at the holistic need of the child and see, oh, my child is not really interested in science rather than forcing them to become an engineer and, uh, and a doctor, you know? So, but I find that was very difficult time for us. So we are where we are now, but we need to make sure that we pass on that battle to the next generation. Those of you who are in your 20s, 30s, 40s, or whatever, who are still raising young children, to make sure that we are holding you along and telling and making, supporting you to making sure that you're not repeating our mistakes or some of the mistakes we did. And touch wood, or pray, thank God, here, yeah, some people will say touch wood, but thank God that some of us, our, parents, our children, come out okay. You know, so it's not really because we are so perfect parents. Some of us did our best, what was possible to do. So, but like you rightly said, we shouldn't judge them. We are, we really need to make them understand it's not easy. And like we said, over this, our discussion, we made it clear that we should really try and explore and find, like I said, from my, even my opening talk, that we should really try and encourage these parents. Even, even if we see them wherever they are, they might just be a friend or a friend who you know through that person in Nigeria, or even you live around, who live around you in your church, who is your circle of influence. They always try and support them. Even offer to include those children and even babysit for them so that they can have respite because it's not easy. Yeah? I hope that makes sense. So let me quickly see what the last few people have said. <clears throat> Yeah, Shade said, very true, judging will not help. I may have had a, a judging tone. We can only be in their shoes to know how hard it is. Yeah, I don't, I think sometimes when it's, I don't think you guys have had judging tone. You have just been saying uh, your general perspective and sharing generally because sometimes written texts can appear judgmental, but they are not really, yeah. I hope people will, if you read, if you look at the whole con discussion in context, we're all just sharing different ideas. You have, you guys have done really great. I'm sure this young man will be pleased because she has actually, if you see the email, actually, she, I, actually, she actually asked me to thank you personally that she always liked the way my audience engage in the chat. They are not just here to share to, because you should go to some discussion, even when the main discussion is on, people are more interested in getting to know each other and say, oh, I'm here, I'm in the house. Do you want to make a friend and blah, blah, blah. And they don't engage in the real topic, but you guys really come every Saturday to engage in the topic at hand. So in as much as we have to make friends as well. So yeah. <clears throat> So I'm sure he will be impressed with what the discussion, the way you guys did this today. Thank you all very much once again. And I will say once again, if I didn't mention, and mention some few people before who were here in the, in the beginning, Uju, I mentioned Uju is YouTuber, Jen is a YouTuber, Shade is a YouTuber now. Please, you guys should go and check out Shade. It's the way it's written here, Shade Fadikbe. Go and check her out. Uh, she's had a series of new interviews now of a lot of Africans and uh, other people, people from our community who have written a lot of children's books. There's more than that. She's, she's in expand her circle of influence. There's a wide variety now. And please, you guys should still go and buy Shade's book if you haven't done so yet. Yes, your platform is very respectful. You are doing it. Oh, thank you very much for that. So yeah, if there's any of you that I haven't mentioned, please let Stella White Dynamic is also a YouTuber based in Nigeria. Um, yeah, Divan Okoko is a YouTuber. Mary Jane, uh, Jane Starr is a YouTuber. I think she's from one of those African countries. I must know where you are coming from, where you come from. You told me a few times. That's my old mama's brain. <laughs> and you live in Manchester. Really, we still need to have that our reunion that I promise. We haven't had it yet. And it may was just be so busy. I don't know how the summer just went by so quickly. Summer is usually the time I do more of my traveling. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah. Um, hello, Jane. Okay. All right, uh, I didn't know about that. Okay, what did she say? 
Okay, there must be something that that she was saying she didn't know about. Sorry, sometimes when I don't follow the chat, uh, okay, uh, immediately I, I don't always get that. Anyway, um, your platform is very respectful. You are doing a great. Thank you very much, Luana. Thank you for coming all the time. You're co you guys, you know, you just my, you just make, you just, you just like my friends now. Yeah, I'm really pleased the way you guys keep coming back every kind of engaging. Yeah, and um, uh, Sonia said, "Good night, everyone." And <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I think it's is it 8 p.m. in in Germany now or 9 p.m. I can't remember. I think in the UK, I think we are either one or two hours behind you. I understand. Good night. Thank you for coming. I know you do have an early night. You are one of those who start work early. And uh, EJ, EJ is another EJ Tube is a YouTuber as well. He said, "Thank you for this topic. Thank you very much for coming." Yeah. Um, would you said, I hope this will help the young one. Yes, thank you very much. You guys have really contributed very well. I'm sure it will help, uh, help him. If he comes back with more questions, I will bring him back to the house. I've got my my team of experts. We have teachers, we have head practitioners, we have uh, Luana that is all rounder. <laughs> she seems to have all the all the all the knowledge and know how. <laughs> uh, then uh, Jay said, thanks, everyone. I will have to go. Good night. Thank you. Oh, Jenna Lodja, thank you for coming, Jane. You didn't chat a lot today. You must be busy. <laughs> um, that's my younger sister. Bye, Jane. Love you. Bye. And uh, Shade said, please come. Meet authors and engage, engage readership issues for our children. Thank you, Auntie Mabel. Yeah, you push, please go and check um, go, and, go and check Shade's channel out. She's got a lot of some of the things we are talking about now it's not only children with or with a special need that our, ch our children need more than that actually we don't want to leave our children to be emotionally disabled that is what another area that we need to be mindful of some of our children might not be physically disabled some of our children are emotionally disabled and identity disabled they have identity disability <laughs> so yeah let's go and check out shade's book shade's channel jane i love just said very informative Oh, if a chi family, I know we appear to be busier now than we did when our kids were young. I know. That's why I want to connect with you because we are in the same group. We have adult children and we are in the UK. We don't seem to be, for, you seem to be in the Southeast as well. So I just like to connect with people of my matured years as well. In as much, I need to, I need to have that level of circle of influence and network of mature children and also so that I can also uh, spread my button and passing it on to all the younger generation. Yeah, we, we need a team. We need we need to work together. God has thrown us into this part of the world for a reason. Yeah. James, James Darry said, I didn't know about person with autism. Okay, that's what you didn't know about. Yeah, yeah. That's how it's been said. Now they want you to put the person before the spectrum. Yeah. Um, Shade said, send your hugs. Send, send Okay, what, what do you say? <laughs> Shade says, sending you hugs, Auntie Mabel, you inspire me. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. We all inspire each other. We are, we are all inspiring, inspiring each other in, one, in, all, in very, very many ways. This is what we need in our community. This is what we didn't have. Actually, this is one thing I enjoy on YouTube, to be honest. We have been able to build some communities somehow. So uh, whatever, the boundary is no longer a barrier. Look at you joining us from US. You know, um, you are amazing. Thank you. You just said I'm amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh, my head is getting bigger now. What are you guys doing to, to Grandma Mabel? <laughs> Thank you all very much. Thank you. Without you guys, I won't do it. Because just imagine if I'm chatting to myself and no one is here. You you are you are a great support, support system for me. Luana, uh, Shade said, Luana, thank you for your awesome comment. Thank you very much, Luana. We do appreciate you. Stella, I said, this is a very interesting topic. I sat and joined every bit and learned it as well. Thank you very much. James Darry said, have a blessed night, and Mabel and everyone. Thank you. I learned to, yeah, yeah I learned, I le I'm sure you said you learned a lot. Yeah. Uh, Shade said, I have to, I have, I have to learn how to do the super chat. Okay, just next time I'll show you. Just click on the, on the, on the do, where the super chat is. Just click on the dollar sign. Save it for next Saturday because we have to wind down. I'm mindful it's coming to one twenty minutes. I know this is a very important topic. It's not something we should rush. Yeah, 
So yeah, I'll, 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 next time when you where your where you post your comments, they're usually a sign and a dollar. It doesn't look like a dollar sign. It looks very wonky dollar sign or pound sign. Once you click on that, it takes you to where you can put the super chat. People have asked me to do membership and uh, I would you told me last night to do paper one. I haven't got around doing it. I set up the paper. It didn't look right. So I have to delete it. So I have to try and read, look at, watch more YouTube videos to know how to do them properly. Um, yeah. Uh, Shade said, I have, I have, okay, you have to learn, yeah. If a chief family, yes, I'm in the Southeast, though, class as Kent. All right, that's all right then, that's that's okay. Um, James Dari, I learned a lot, very informative topic, well done. Thank you very much, James Dari, James, you are becoming better every <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. My head is even getting bigger with my head wrap. My head wrap is making my head get bigger, bigger, bigger. <laughs> Thank you all very much. I'm going to have to end this now. We've passed the 120 mark. We just said thanks. Thank you, everyone, for your comments and engaging. Great topic. Thank you all very much. So like I said, if the young man come back with more questions, I will bring it to the house again so that you guys can deal with it. You can support me with dealing with it. Yeah. I'm just typing my usual thank you all. I always take ages to type. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm going to say again in my Esa language, Vabulu, everyone, which is thank you in Esa language, and Vakimbwe, Vakimbwe, everyone, Vakimbwe. I'm going to have to end this now. We've passed the 120. One hour, one hour, 20 minutes. Yeah, uh, please like before you leave. Oh, yeah, Stella Dynamics remind you all to please like before you leave. I do appreciate all of you and thank you very much once again. God bless you all. Until next Saturday, by God's grace, when we come back with another amazing topic. And if any of you have any topic you want us to discuss, just either you leave it in the comment section or you can send me a personal message on whatsapp or on uh, email to let me know yeah and again working boy and babulu thank you and working boy bye 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 i don't always like to go now i have to go bye 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 <laughs>